This is the very trick, very customised Factor 02 of AG2 Isle Mondial rider Romain Baldet. Now, I'm going to start with the frame, of course. It is the Factor 02 model. It's their lightweight climbing bike. It's the one that Roman chooses most of the time, even though he does have an aerodynamic option in his quiver as well. And although the frame is stock, well, I say stock, I mean, it comes in at less than 800 grams, he has got his own custom paint job on there. So this one uh, is new for the Tour de France. It's got uh, a graphic there of a warrior from uh, his hometown of Clermont Ferrand who uh, apparently fought Julius Caesar. Kind of ironic that he was fighting the Romans, but anyway, there we go. He's also got a graphic of the Puy de Dome, which is a really iconic climb from that region. Apparently he can see it from his house and it's also where he does a lot of his fitness testing. And finally, on the top tube, he's got his slogan, his motto, take the risk or lose the chance. Uh, now a little bit of a geekery for you here, uh, the black is actually raw carbon and not black paint and so it saves a little bit of weight meaning that this frame is a little bit lighter than his previous one. Coming from the same stable as the Factor bike is the black box seat post and then integrated bar and stem. So he's got quite a bit of layback on there, you can see. And then it's quite a stretched out position all told. It's got a 130 millimeter stem on there, a 40 millimeter wide bar. And on top of that seat post, you've got a Physique Arione 00 saddle. So that's the one with the carbon rails, super, super lightweight. Now then, Let's have a look at the drivetrain, shall we? There's quite a lot of kit on here that is relatively unfamiliar to the Pro Peloton. So we've got an SRM chain set on there with the old Dura-Ace chain rings on. And then, although we have got Dura-Ace shifters and a Dura-Ace derailleur front and back, we've got this enormous oversized ceramic speed pulley system. And this isn't just the bog standard ceramic speed, if that is such a thing. This is the 3D printed titanium one. So ridiculously light and super, super trick. Now, of course, ceramic speed don't just provide the oversized pulley wheels, the derailleur cage. They've got uh, their own bottom bracket bearings in there as well, their own headset bearings. And you'll notice as well, this chain that looks looks filthy but it's not so this has got their own super fast coating on there so underneath is a shimano 11 speed chain but they treat it and then apparently you can save between 10 and 16 watts with the full kit so uh, that's not to be sniffed at i mean really isn't to be sniffed at is it although i have found out that actually the more power you put out the fewer the savings that you make so actually closer to the 10 rather than the 16 watts I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, right, he's also in full-on climbing mode at the moment, so that's an 11 to 30 cassette at the back. Then the other thing I want to draw your attention to before we leave the group set are the STI levers. So if you'll see, they've kind of got this really bulbous protrusion on the top, and that's because underneath the rubber, there's like a stack of kind of foam pads. So he's customised the feel of his STI levers which is pretty cool. And apparently he can change them on a daily basis, depending on how he feels. So there we go. Personally, I like slimline grips. He's gone for a slightly padded version. And actually, it feels quite good. In terms of gear ratios, this bike is very much in climbing mode at the minute. You can probably tell from our location that we are in the Alps. But interestingly, he's running a 53.36 up front. Now, before you say, well, it actually says 53.39 on the big ring, Shimano chain rings, the big chain rings always say 53.39 because that's the gear ratio they recommend. But clearly, Edge 2 r reckon you can get away with a 53.36. So that has got a 36 in a ring on that, giving him a pretty small bottom gear for a climb tomorrow that averages 11% for six kilometers. Quick change of location. I'm gonna talk about the wheels now. So these are Mavic Cosmic Ultimates, unbelievably light at 1250 grams for this tubular version. And if you come close, you'll see that these have got pretty rad graphics on there. Yes, I did say the word rad. Uh, this is Mavic's limited edition Tour de France specific graphic that's on a, a small number of these wheels and some, uh, some cheaper ones as well that are available and indeed Romain shoes. I like that. Very cool. Very subtle, but very bling. Uh, we've got obviously the pro mechanics touch with a little piece of electrical tape there just to make sure there is no possibility of these valve stems rattling around. Now these tubular versions at the moment still have an alloy rear hub, but actually the latest Cosmic Ultimates that were released just prior to the Tour de France have an all carbon hub, but they're not available 
in a tubular yet. They're only available in tubeless clincher versions. So hence why Roma is still running that alloy rear hub. Now, what I thought was kind of interesting about the AG2R bikes is that their brake pads are blue and Mavic brake pads are yellow. And so what they've decided is that they're gonna void their warranty on all their wheels. So basically, Mavic say that they choose their brake pads accordingly to maximize the longevity of the rims, but also to provide maximum braking power and maximum feel, whereas AG2R clearly don't mind about the longevity of the wheels, and what they've gone for is a pad that they feel gives them the maximum braking performance. So interesting then that they've gone for blue. I wonder whether it's just because they make a nice blue streak on the wheels and that matches their kit. Glued onto these wheels are 25 millimeter wide Continental Competition Pro Limited tubulars. So those are the ones that are actually not available for you and I to buy in the shops. These are pro edition only. And so what Continental say they've done with these is to actually put a latex inner tube inside and then actually change the carcass of the tire ever so slightly. So they're a bit less durable, they don't last as long, but they say they roll a little bit quicker. Swapping out the inner tube for a latex one saves about five watts at least. Finishing touches now, we've got Look Keo blades on there. These are the Tour de France edition ones. And if you look closely, there's actually the interesting addition of some lizard skin handlebar tape that's been glued on to the metal area, which normally interfaces with your cleat. So I'm not entirely sure of the reasons why, but one would imagine it changes the feel of your cleat on the pedal. So that is an interesting one. Uh, we've got Elite bottle cages on there, and then up front we've got a mount for an SRM power control head unit. So no Wahoo, no Garmin on here for Agitazer Le Mondial. Uh, right, I haven't got our GCN trusty scales with us today, but I asked the mechanics because I assume that this bike is super, super light, and therefore they must be putting weights in there. But no, they say actually it comes in at 6.83 kilograms. So they've got to be pretty chuffed about that, and they really? Don't have to faff around with weights, but they're pretty much on the nose. Uh, and now, of course, we have to hear the free hub. Nice, it's a subtle one, that one, isn't it? And interestingly, it sounds a little bit different to the new Cosmic Ultimate with the carbon hub because they've redesigned the freewheel. Well, high fives all round to Roman Balde and his team for one of the coolest and trickiest bikes in the Pro Peloton. In fact, let's not stop at high fives. Let's go for a big thumbs up for this bike. Now, if you want to watch some more Pro Bike videos from this year's Tour de France, then why not click on screen now? We have one suggested for you. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe to GCN as well so that you don't miss any more of our videos. And of course, don't forget as well that we've got our highlights for the Tour de France over on Facebook.